Well, looking ahead, it's one of the more highly anticipated summer events here in the Quad Cities, and it's happening this weekend. It's the Quad Cities Air Show. TV 6's Evan Denton spoke with someone who grew up watching the show and is now flying in it. Uh, every time it's an adrenaline rush, uh, it hasn't gone away even after flying the jet for six years. Flying high in the Quad City sky in front of dozens of excited spectators is Captain Samuel Larson, who is currently stationed at Langley Air Force Base in Virginia. We're always thrilled to fly for the crowds, get to share what we do with the crowds, and then when we're done flying, get to meet with the crowds and uh, shake folks' hands and tell them a little bit about what we do each and every day. This year's Quad Cities Air Show is a homecoming for Larson, a Bettendorf High School graduate. He says the Quad Cities Air Show is an event that means so much to him. I went to my first Quad City Air Show in 1993. I was six months old and uh, saw the Thunderbirds there and then went every summer uh, thereafter uh, while I was growing up. Uh, I was completely in love with it uh, at an early age and uh, yeah, the Air Show had a profound impact on my life and the direction of my life. Larson is the pilot and commander of the F-22 Raptor team. The F-22 Raptor is a fifth generation stealth fighter jet that is exclusive to the United States Air Force. To be honest, I turn into a little kid, a little kid at a candy shop every time I fly or every time I see one of these things fly. Uh, I work on these things almost daily and uh, it still blows my mind the uh, amount of capability that this thing has. As for Larson, he hopes that the air show has a similar impact on the next generation of kids going into aviation as it had on him. I hope that, you know, they look up, see someone like me doing this, getting to live out my dream, and uh, that inspires them to set goals for their lives and pursue them and maybe go out and live a life uh, bigger than they thought was previously uh, possible. 